Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car. We built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates and industries and communities, livelihoods, and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck. Everyone says they want to change the world. But not everyone will. We are not everyone.
Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Coach's Lawn Service is partnered with RG Sprinklers to be your complete full-service lawn maintenance company. Their team is up for every job, managing projects with the skill and experience their clients expect. Services include fertilizer, weed control, yard cleanup, residential and commercial mowing, and lawn sprinkler services, dethatching, overseeding, aerating, and backyard mosquito control. For free estimates, call Rich at 605-481-0131 or Gene at 605-830-0012. Coaches Lawn Dakota Auto Care at 112 West 5th Street in Gregory, South Dakota is a Napa Auto Care Center using quality Napa parts to perform high quality diagnostics and repair services on all foreign and domestic automobiles. All technicians employed are ASC certified. Jason and the crew are dedicated to customer satisfaction and maintain the highest standards of the automotive service profession. For all your automotive repairs, call 605-835-8866 Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Dakota Auto Care is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla Activities. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Are, Are we, we live, live Raven? Raven? All right. After, After some, some technical difficulties, difficulties in my five, the, the gorillas are coming out, out now, and we, we I will try to work it in either at half or whatever what I normally do pregame. Uh, uh, my guest, guest announcer tonight is Curtis Sinclair. So say hello again, hello. Kurt. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> And, and here, here come, come the gorillas. gorillas. We, we are getting ready for some announcements or our starting lineups. And uh, ooh, who's 84 for us? That is Jackson Bolander. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt last week yep. too, wasn't he? Yep. And our poor Gannon Thomas. He's out for the season. He broke his arm last week. I believe he did have surgery this week, so uh, he did have surgery. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if he was going to have surgery or not. That uh, looks like a permanent cast on there now. So. Yeah, he's. I seen him last night. He's got to wear that one for like three weeks, and then he gets one from his elbow down to his hand for for four weeks, and then they said he should be good to go. All right, we got the starting offense for the Parkston Trojans. Cole Prunty is their quarterback. Number two, very speedy, very shifty. We're going to have to keep an eyeball on him all night. Then we have number six, Peyton Albrecht. And then a Weber. Caleb Weber, number 10. Max Scott, number 15, is next. Braden, Braden Jervik. 
And we have Gordon Seppala. On the line, a 5'10", 225-pound senior, number 57, Chase Weber. And we have Chase Weber as a D-line, O-line. And we have Lane Johnson as another lineman. And then Preston Mathias is our other lineman. And they are head coached by Matt Grave. So here we are, and we will have our starting defense for our Gorillas. Oh. Cruz Clunt as safety, number 22. Nathan Fortuna as an O line, our D line, sophomore. Jaden Graber as our other defensive lineman. And Trey Murray as a linebacker, number 43. Our other linebacker, number three, Owen Hansen. Cade Brown as another linebacker. Another Defensive end, number 12, Eli Fogel. And our safety is Mr. Cade Stuckel, number 17. Linebacker, number two, Rylan Peck as a linebacker. Head coach by Mr. Mike Murray, assisted by Jeff Denman and Andy Thomas. Now we'll be lining up for the national anthem. Hit the flag. Zoom in. And Eli Barreto is playing the national anthem. So everybody at home, please represent the flag and everybody here and here we go. We are going to go through our national anthem. That was a very well done national anthem. And our game tonight, for, for some reason, uh, the Gorillas and the Parkston Trojans have switched sides on the sidelines. Yeah, I've watched games here a lot of years, and I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't know where the miscommunication was, but... Uh, I don't think there was miscommunication. The Gorillas were the first ones out here. <laughs> okay. That's the way we're going to do it then. No, I guess. Man, I, we, we chose the other side for some obvious reason. I think I've seen it one other time, but 
that it's all got to do with like sun and wind and I don't know some who knows either that or the some of the teams are afraid that we had too much advantage on this side I don't know but anyway now we are they're going to select captains and uh it is a gorgeous afternoon if the wind wasn't blowing a million miles an hour. Yeah, this is uh, it's quite unfortunate, but this, you know, you can't ask for better weather. I uh, know. It is cooling down. No, heck, I thought it was going to be like a blast furnace up here. <laughs> the wind's blowing right in the dang box tonight. But it was a lot better. And we just had rain the other night, and the field looks great. Everything around here is turning green again. A little late for all the crops, but I think well, they're not doing too bad from what I hear, considering the type of year we had. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of those ball games you uh, look forward to, and when you see it on the schedule, and especially since they uh, knocked off Platt last week, <laughs> I, I, I've been really looking forward to this one. Well, uh, Platt last week they had uh, seven turnovers. Yeah, five interceptions. Yeah, four yeah. or five interceptions, something like that. I mean. I, I, I don't care how good a team you are, you know, if you uh, you give up the ball seven times, that's uh, almost impossible to make up ground for that. Yeah, it's very demoralizing every time you uh, put a drive together and yep. have a pick. And Well, they said that their uh, Mr. Hoffman, their quarterback from Platt, was just staring the receivers down. And they were just – and every time you do that, they would just pick up on it. So it looks like uh, – Gregory will deceive. I'm guessing Parkston won the toss and they deferred. So the Gorillas will start the day off on offense. And uh, I don't know, I went through all the polls and stuff earlier, but somehow our mics weren't working. Well, and I always do my own poll. Well, I'll do 9A. Uh, this week, the Smith's number one, Howard's number two. Uh, Harry Selby's number three, Woolsey's number four, and Wall's number five. And we have the severe advantage of all these teams playing last night, and we're one of the few that are playing on a Saturday. And the reason we're playing tonight is I guess we have a shortage on referees this year. So every team had to choose uh, either a Thursday or Friday to play at least one game to help out with the shortage of the umpires and with the referees. So, and I think this is our only off game all year. I believe but, it is, yes. Yeah. But, uh, oh, they do that downstairs. Somebody shuts it off downstairs. So, um, I guess we're getting ready for kickoff here. Number 88. Jackson Coke. Jackson Cook. All right going to get us on our way. 5'10", 170 pound senior. And Parkinson's one of those teams, I think they underestimate their kids. Oh, they give it to Stook right away. Oh! Man, it'd have been better off just Owen just running that. Looked like Luke Borman uh, come up with the tackle on that one. Holy smokes. He fought off his block and got in there yep. and tripped him up. Yep, yep. Well, well We'll try like heck to keep these names straight, but I'm terrible at that stuff, so. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, I don't know where in the heck is my all my stuff at. Oh, there it is. Well, not much doing on that first play. Well, at number three, who is running that? Owen? Yep, Owen Hansen. Uh, Raiden Jervik came up with the tackle. Yep, and that was... This wasn't a whole lot there. You know, I think the last Saturday game I did was a, was a third round playoff game against Miller back in 2017, I believe. Otherwise, you just don't do Saturday games. Oh, there is absolutely nothing there. Well, there's no gain. Yeah. Host, uh, host the parks tonight, there. Yeah, Peyton Albrecht was at the bottom of that pile. Hey, we're waiting for that. Yep. Well, it looks like we're back out in our spread again. Third and nine for the gorillas, looks like. 
Yep. Well, we'll find out how well they are. I see they got Prunty on uh, Mr. Sukal out there. Speed again. Oh, what do we got? Timeout. Mouthpiece. Yeah, that's definitely speed against speed there. Yeah, absolutely. We don't need black streaks on the carpet here. Hope. Oh, right there. Oh, well, there it was there. Cade Brown just couldn't hang on to it. Luke Borman with the coverage on that. Did a really good job. Met him right as the ball got there. Well, Mr. Prunty's back deep. I would say just kick it out of bounds. <laughs> Not even give him a chance to return this ball at all. Soccer style kick. Oh, nice punt. And it's right there on the 49-yard line. So that's where Parkston will take over is on their own 49-yard line and uh, change of possession here. Whew. Kurt, you play football back in the day? I did. Yeah, I played tight end and defensive tackle. So yeah, I, mean, was, I was always in the trenches. I never went out for uh, – passes or anything we just stayed in block that's what that was in my dc way <laughs> yeah well and his way was three yards in a cloud of dust so i mean it was slow and methodical looks like they're gonna keep it in uh-oh right away Hey, look, we've got 10 yards right off of that. That's what I was always afraid of. Our team is so small. I'd, I really wanted to see what would happen if we got up to, against a team that was pretty good size. Braden Jervik. And that dude is huge. I mean, he is a sophomore. He is 5'10", or 5'9", 195. I mean, that's a load. You know, Ryland had to come in and clean it up. Here we go. Ryland's tough. He he took him head on. Oh, we got number six. He's being patient out there. Peyton Miss Albrecht. Albrecht, yep. Got five yards on that play. Well, we better step it up a notch or two here. This is going to be a long ball game. They're not doing anything fancy. They're just coming no, at us. No, well, mm. If we can just slow them down a little bit, get the ball turned over, let these big guys get a little winded, we might our speed should be able to take over after that. But we definitely got to try to try to weather the storm right away. Yep. I got about two. Uh, what's third and they're definitely four down territory here, so we got third down and three. And that was Jervik again. And this wind is not nice to my papers. <laughs> I'll be chasing stuff downstairs here in a minute. Well, Mr. Prunty hasn't kept the ball yet. No, they're just trying to pound it inside. And oh, oh. I don't think they got it. Uh, it'd be awfully close. Yeah, depending on the spot. Well, it looks like. Ah, oh, they're going to give it to him. Yeah. That's first down. Yeah. Oh, they're going to measure. I think. Oh, oh, he's calling it. Yep. Must be about a foot short. Just when you think you can call it from here. I don't know. My good. eyesight they ain't that good, but I'm just going by the spot where the line is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then they got it. Yeah, Prunty's going to carry it on. Yeah, they got two yards on that. And I didn't watch the game with Platt and Parkson last week. I was going to. I'm just, I just been a little bit too busy. Just been way too busy. I'm lucky to know what even day it is most days. Looks like we're doing a three down linemen and three linebackers. Well, I, I oh, there's a pass. Oh, and then no good. That was incomplete. He was trying to balance that, and as he was going down, Mr. Stuckel, that was it. Gordon Seppel, uh, he, he had a balance on his one hand there for yeah. a long time. It's Man, he's a big kid. Yeah. He said 6'2", 220. Well, yeah, I believe it. 
Looks like quite a load out there. Senior. Them kids are big. Senior for Parkston. Yeah. Oh, I got a good push on that one. Albrecht on the carry. Fogel, uh, Eli Fogel with the tackle. Yeah, they're doing nothing fancy. This is just like an old school offense. You know, they'll, they might pop a, a pass play on first and 10 or something, but it looks like they're just going to grind and pound at us until we can stop them. Looks like a double wing. Just going to pound it away. Yep, right back. Oh, there we go. That. Rain Kenzie. Rain Kenzie. I was going to say number 77, I said, but Ridge hasn't been out there for a while. <laughs> yeah, Rain has uh, been quite the asset so far this year. He's a freshman. He missed the last game because of COVID protocols, if I remember correctly. That is right. So, and then fourth I mean, and five. Looks fourth like. and five. We are really thin over there on our side. You look at these guys here, they, they could like field two teams. We couldn't even field the second team with what we got left over. Oh, go get him. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, no. Mr. Shifty Prunty slips out of it, and it is a touchdown. Yeah, they strung it out really well, but he just cut back and found an opening. Very shifty. He's he's what killed us last year in that loss we took from these guys last year. Uh oh. Well, must Wait be holding. Second. There's laundry on the field. Wow. Uh, yep. For the gorillas, that couldn't have came at a better time. Oh no. I was at the ball game last night down at uh, Burke, and uh, I tell you what, uh, the. Ben Witt and his center, I don't know. They didn't like each other. What? They had like six mishandled snaps. They lost one. Um, he And then they put it on the ground a couple more times. It had some real, a lot of penalties. Uh, I, Burke, I believe Burke could have kept up with Avon pretty well last night. They just made a lot of bad mental mistakes in that first half, which kind of took them out of the ball game. What a horse race that must have been. 630 yards for uh, Avon. Oh well, yeah, that uh, and the oh I can't remember the kid who run all those yards number ten for him, but he wasn't doing anything special. But the thing of it is, is their quarterback uh, Ruck Shettle or or whatever his name, not Ruck. Yeah, I think that's right. He every pass he threw was on the money. It was unbelievable. At I this, mean, he couldn't miss at this at level. All. At this level, if you can put it where you need to, where you need to have it, it's yeah it, every it can be pass. Devastating. But he's been starting quarterback for Avon for four years, so he should. This is his fourth year, so I mean, he should got it figured out by now. And I mean, he was putting them on the spot every time. It was, I was impressed with their pass game last night. Severely, the gorillas, the gorillas had a quarterback like that here a few years back. <laughs> yeah, Mr. McCann. Yeah, uh, Ruck Shettle couldn't throw it. Couldn't throw it as far as Andy did, but I mean. They'd only, they'd only take one guy out, maybe two, but most of the time they had one primary receiver, and that was it, and all you had to do is cover him. And he was laying it, I mean, where the defender couldn't make a play on it. It was, I was, I was impressed with Avon last night. But they did give up 36 points to Burke, which, you know, so their, their defense is a little porous too. But well, it looks like they're going to spread it out now, fourth and 15. Well, I tell you what, Mr. Prunty's dangerous. So you definitely, or is he, he's out on the left. Yeah. So Jarvik is on actually taking the snap. So they're definitely going to pass it to him. Get your hands up. Oh, and he caught it in a touchdown anyway. You got to be kidding me. He just out jumped him. Who's Coulter, that? Coulter Kramer. Coulter Kramer. Freshman, 5'10", 180 pounds. I don't know how that happened. The quarterback was getting hit as he was going down. Wow. That's crazy. So. Yeah, I thought it was going to hit our guy in the head. He yeah. just pulled it right out of there. So, with 642 left in the first quarter, the Parkston Trojans strike first. 
Looks like they're going to kick for extra points today, and we are definitely expecting it. Look how we're lined up. Oh, we didn't even make a charge at it, and it is good. So with seven minutes left, Raven take us to a 30-second timeout, and we will be right back. Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of... Any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Here at Farmers Union Insurance, they do everything they can to make sure that you have the right insurance for your specific needs. They understand not every individual or family has the same insurance needs, and insurance is not a one-size-fits-all type solution. You see, they look at themselves as an insurance consultant rather than the typical salespeople. Farmers Union Insurance Agency's presence within the community is more than just an insurance office. They are proud to sponsor coverage of winter athletics and students. Good luck this year to all the warrior and lady warriors. And we are back here to Mike Dacey Field today. Um, it's a beautiful evening, so, I mean, if you're staying at home, even though it is a little windy, you guys should get out here and support our gorillas. Come to the game, and you can always listen to us later if you're excited and want to rewatch the game, just for the commentary. Or either that, or you can uh, click on the, to the YouTube uh, while you're out here. But, of course, I think there's about a 45-second delay, so... <laughs> I think it'd be a little behind. Yeah, if you're just joining us, uh, Parkston got the ball on the 49. The grill is 49 and made a 51-yard drive. Yeah, but they, they were like fourth and 15 and made a 30-yard pass play, which is yeah, that was something else. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say. Two blow chunks over that deal. <laughs> Terrible. You got to stop those. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Parkson's big, but I, I think we can handle him here. All we got to do is make a little more of a better effort at offense this time around. But, uh, yeah, well. So, well, you we, have the inside scoop, so what was Paul's scouting report? Oh, I tell you what, he doesn't tell me a whole lot. <laughs> That sounds like all the rest of our kids. You pound him for information. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean he's he's a, one of those guys on the scout team, so he can probably tell you what they run. But uh, yeah, but he's pretty uh, tight-lipped. He a Parkston spy almost, but no, he. That was a good kick. It's gonna go. Oh, who's got it? Hanson. He needs to go. There you go. There's a good return. Oh, holy cow! They decleated him. Porter Nagerbar. Is it Parkson ball? I don't believe so. Holy cow, they took Mr. Hansen right out of his shoes there. <laughs> he got hit pretty good on that one. Yeah, he's, he, he's 145 pounds, but you know, you know, he packs a, a pretty good little punch, but when somebody's bigger than him. And they get him direct. Yeah, that's all right. He's tough. He's a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestlers are tough. I think he won it all he last did. year. He was state champion last yeah. year. Oh, oh no. That snap. Oh, that. Face mask. Yep. Now, is that going to be from the spot of the foul? Or yep, spot yeah. of the foul. Well, we might get back to the. I, I don't know. Is it a space act or, or technical or unsportsmanlike? Oh, oh, horse collar. Okay. So, I'll be first down. That was a horse collar, looks like. You don't see those very often. Well, we got to take the penalty, no matter what it is, because we definitely don't want where the ball ended up. I should say you don't see it called very much. You see it all the time, but you don't see it called. Well, generally with the horse collar, you see it on somebody running away from somebody, and they're, they're trying to grab them as they're running away, and first place you grab is right on top of their shoulder pads. So you usually catch them by the by the shoulder pad that way. Looks like it's going to be from the spot of the foul, so we might get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe. I think it's first down still. 
So we lost two yards. If that tells you anything, it was a 19-yard loss. Three yards, yeah. Wow. First and 14. Yeah, first and 13. That's crazy. That was insane. Lucky for the penalty. It was bad snaps. Who's really snapping hurt. tonight, Graber? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, Ryland, then he puts it on the ground again. He got, he got it back. Wow. He was trying to let the defender slide by. And in the meantime, uh, he should have just should have just pitched it. I don't even think I mean I think we're in the negative yard category as of the current. So, well, hopefully we come up with a decent play here. We just seem to be out of sorts. It's not like we're – last week we just come out – last couple weeks we just come out just ripping. Oh, look at this wide open. Eli Fogel. Eli Fogel. Mm, boy. Fogel snarfed that up. Now we're sitting on about the their 33-yard line. Well, he just dropped that right in there. That was perfect. That was a beautiful pass. All Fogel had to do was catch it. <laughs> it come right there. You know, he had kind of a rough start at the beginning of the season, dropping a few of those passes. But, boy, he's just got glue now. Oh, I mean, man, he, and he's gotten so aggressive on defense. He, I think he's figured it out. I think football is a lot of fun. <laughs> football is an absolute blast to play. Nope, nothing there at all. Oh, Trey Mr. Murray. Murray slips out of it. Oh. Number 15, uh, Max Scott coming up with the tackle on there. He's a big dude. Yeah, 6'5", 210. Yeah, he's tall. You can see that from here. I think Murray's maybe 5'7". Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got him listed at 5'8", 175, so it was a bit. Yeah, probably 5'7", six and a half, probably somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, pitch it. Go, go, Stoop. Oh, horse collar again. Oh, they didn't call it that time. He just couldn't get away from that. Well, they're going to have to really key on him, though. I mean, he he gets the motor running, they ain't going to stop him. Yeah, it's – Cade does a really good job. He's He's got uh, – Tremendous speed. 11 for 100-meter uh, speed. And, yeah. And that once he gets out there – Yeah, he's probably even faster than that now. So, I mean, uh, working out all summer. But, I mean, he is tremendously fast. Well, oh, wide is. open. Oh, he overshot him. As Ryland stares at the sky. <laughs> yeah. She's talking to I you, not I didn't, me. I didn't quite see. Can who, you uh, see it better? I, I can oh, see it. Okay. I didn't actually. <laughs> I didn't see who put the pressure on him. I was uh, falling the ball across the middle and. Yeah, me neither. All I know, he's staring at the sky when it was all done. Uh oh, it is fourth and five. Oh wow. Oh, oh go. he got away. He's got to throw it. Oh, why did he? Oh man, he just got to get rid of it. Turnover on downs. Would have at least uh, netted five more yards had he got rid of it. But, you know. Well, they had a pretty good pass rush on there. Bad so. stuff happens. You just toss it up, though, too. He could have threw it, you know, in the direction of somebody. but Yeah. Yeah, but, it, you know, if they had intercepted, we would have tackled them ten more yards down the field, I guess. Right. Yeah, they are just in a traditional smash mouth offense here. Man. Oh, uh oh, Ryland's hurt. Ryland just twisted his ankle or something. He I is think, hurt. I actually think he caught a knee in the end of the thigh. Yeah, I think he's his arm or something. Yeah, he still isn't uh, feeling very no. good. Well, take it off the player there. And Raven, give us uh, give us a timeout here, and we'll be back. 30 seconds start. 
We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Back after that injury timeout, they did a quick pitch out to Prunty. Yeah, and he's... He's quick. He's shifty. Mr. Peck, we had to take him out for a down. I don't know if he, I don't know if he got kneed in the thigh, or he got cleated, or Cruz, we're not too sure. But Cruz Clunt uh, coming up with the tackle on that way too far downfield. Yeah, I can't crack 15 yards of play in the last two plays. That's what they got. They just taking those big guys and they're just plowing the road, and we just absolutely are getting pushed around. Terrible up front there. Jarvis, I think, right? Jarvis, sorry. Owen Hanson with the tackle on that. Oh, here comes Ryland back in. Who come in for him? Number five. All right. Noah Bearshield was in there a couple plays. <laughs> Darn fly. With all that wind, I can't believe. Oh, there we go. Ah, boy. No Fogel got a hold of him before he could get any steam up. Slowed him up just enough. Got him down to the ground. And tackle the loss. There must have been a two or three yard loss on that. So. Sam Benson, the 44 junior from Parkston with the carry. Yep. Man, and I mean, you look at our up front guys. I don't think we have a guy over 170 pounds on the line, do we? Rain Kenzie, maybe. What's Nathan at? Nathan's, uh, Nathan's 200 pounds. 200? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's pretty short, though, too. There we go. Nice pass. Oh. oh, ah, dang. I mean, we were there. We just can't bat the ball away. That was the Scott, wasn't it? Man, he's a big target. Yeah, 15. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been on the small end of things on our football team. Usually we size up pretty well. Yeah, this year, I mean, we're just tiny, but we're all. Boy, Prunty made it to the outside. Cade Brown got a hold of him there, though, but. What did he get, five out of that, all that running? Yep. <laughs> you run 30 yards, you get five. You got to drag that out. I mean, Parkston is loaded with seniors. Man, they got a lot of seniors. <laughs> and we have a timeout, Raven. 30 seconds, please. Let's uh, let's pay the bills. It's tough to buy a vehicle nowadays, isn't it? They're so hard to find. At Harry K. Ford a Winter, we will never buy a 2020-21 vehicle and then turn around and ask you, our valued customers, to pay more than what the vehicle cost brand new. Those other guys, they don't do that. Research your options, get a car fax, and remember, we sell new vehicles way below MSRP because that's just the way we do business. Harry K. Ford a Winter. Family, friends, and Fords, always in that order. Gregory Lane's rest here from Mike Dacey Field. Uh, we have 2.05 left in the first quarter, and Parkson's on a huge march. I think they have marched at 50 yards already. But I think, what are they? I don't know. They, they got like five yards to go to get first down. Yeah, they're not doing anything special. It, it's, no, a, it's just overpowering It's just smash mouth football yeah. is all they're doing, and I mean, they, they they are outsizing us enormously on the line. Sprinkle in a pass here and there, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just hard-nosed football. Yep, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that Prunty, he don't, he don't like to get hit. You can just see that. That's the way he went into the pile. Caleb Weber, he was the quarterback on that. Yeah. He kind of went into the pile with his back turned a little bit. 
you do that, you're going to get hurt eventually. But he's pretty shifty, though. He gets out in open field. He, he makes a lot of people miss. Boy, we're in four down territory. We got third and about two, don't they? Yep. Oh, there they got. Oh, yep, there you go. There's Mr. Shifty. He got in three extra yards just for doing his dancing there. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it, it, you know, he, he extends the, the play a long time. I mean, he, he goes out clear to uh, the sidelines, and then he'll cut back. Wonder Look what he does to get in shape for that all summer long, chase cows or chickens or <laughs> – Man, I mean, you keep jerking back and forth like that, and all, man, I, I'd get tired. I'd be just like, ah, the shortest distance between two points a straight line. Albrecht. <laughs> Albrecht just scores for Parks and second touchdown of the evening, which makes it 13 to nothing. <laughs> Going to kick the extra point. Yep, and we're trying to go up by 14 to 14 to nothing here. Gorillas are going to have to try to figure out their. Oh, oh! I bet he, yeah. Offsides, I'm sure. He, I'm was trying, he was trying to time that. Either that or it was false start. Oh, there we go. Yeah, offside. Yeah. Oh, well, only half the distance. Will they get another half yard? Yard, maybe? <laughs> He was trying to time the snap off that corner. <laughs> yeah. They're going to go for two, I bet. Well, I don't know why they wouldn't. Yeah, kicker come off the field. Did they get their two? Yep. yep. Yeah, they're just getting uh, beat in the trenches right now. Yeah, they're Those. getting beat up pretty bad. It's pretty ugly. What's up? Ryland's done, huh? Oh, Ryland's got his pads off sitting on the bench. Boy, who's our backup quarterback? I'd say it's going to be Cruz Clunt. Number 22, freshman. Yeah, freshman. Oh, boy, it's going to be a really long game. Not saying anything against Cruz. Cruz is a really good athlete, but he just doesn't have the experience behind the snap, you know. It would be really interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see uh, Ryland come back off the field anywhere. You know, I didn't either. He was kind of holding his holding his side, so I don't know exactly. Uh, I thought it was an injury to his leg, but um. no, that's what I thought. Maybe he got the wind knocked out of him, but he might have got squared off in the ribs a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to see injuries, especially when you're only sporting 18 kids, and your next guy up is a freshman. It makes it a really tough night, especially when you got a, Noah a whole shield. team full of. Oh, Noah just goes down. So the grill is going to start on the 30-yard line, basically the 29 or whatever. And yes, Cruz Clunt is out there as our quarterback tonight. 5'10", 150-pound freshman. Hopefully we can get come some kind of an update on uh, Ryland's status, see what's exactly going on. 
But the game must go on. We've got a minute yep. for end of the first quarter. Yep, and here we go. Oh, 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 no, that figures. Little jitters, I'm sure. But they'll get that straightened up. Get one snap under his belt and Yep, get that let him get one, but that costs us about eight yards. That's <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Boy, my phone is blowing up. Everybody's asking, why are we on the other side of the field? If I find out, I will let you all know. I have no idea why our, we are on the other side of the field tonight, as far as our, our uh, team. So I know we're usually on the near side here, but I don't know. Oh, and handoff to Mr. Owen. Just nothing there at all. Number 56 coming up with the tackle, Will Jadozi. Yep. 6'2", 195. <laughs> Sophomore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. End of the quarter. All right, that's the end of the first quarter. And Raven, take us to a minute timeout, please. And we'll be right back. Jordan Lounge Main Street Gregory is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla school activities. Stop in before, during, or after the game and let Bubba and his crew serve you from their large selection of your favorite food and beverage items, including their delicious handmade pizzas. Don't forget the bowling alley is always open for your league bowling, kids' parties, or family get-togethers. Gregory Lanes wishes all the student athletes best of luck this year in all your school activities. Grossenberg Implement is your destination for tractor and combine parts. Check the website for new aftermarket parts just added and get on their mailing list so you don't miss out. This week, get 8% off all booster cables. Think positively. Hope you don't need them, but better to have them just in case. Check it out this week at Grossenberg Implement, locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Or check out the Grossenberg customer calendar for details. 85 years of the and we're back here at Mike Dacey Field where the wind is blowing my stuff everywhere up here. Yeah, it's hard to keep up on any of this. Oh, no, you don't have to hold on to it. It'll stay down as soon as I get my phone down here. I'd say look at SD scores on the bottom of the scroller, but I think we're about one of the only games rolling today. There might be a couple 11 AAA schools that are playing or maybe a couple double A's, but so... I guess all the teams played last night. I was really surprised last night. I, Howard Howard had a tough time going with uh, Irene Wakanda last night. I think the score was, was only like 18 to 7 or 14 something at half. Canastota Freeman was in a dog fight as well. <laughs> that one in overtime, 56 yeah. and 50, 50. over yeah. Garrettson. That, was, that, that reminds me of a time down in Bon Home where uh, the defense uh, stayed at Gregory and Bon Home stayed in the locker room that night. Third and 20. 60 uh, something and something, man. That was crazy. Bon Home ended up winning that thing. Oh. oh, oh, nice job, Cruz. Oh, no. Who's that? Uh oh, that must be. Uh, Number 12. What was that, a clip? Yeah, they just threw a flag. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's got to be a holding or a clip. Illegal block in the back. Or yeah, Ethan Poor, another senior, 5'10", 140 pounds. That is one thing the gorillas are a little bit short of this year, seniors. Short? Well, you got to have some to be short. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct, but, you know, <laughs> things are things – are, they're looking up for us, you know. It, it just is going to take some time. Yep, yeah, it's going to take some time. Um, yeah, the way the Parkson's numbers look like, and they're, they're a pretty good sized town. I'm surprised they're not leaning to back get back to 11-man football. I don't think it would take much. Well, they're going to be a nine-man for another two years at least. Well, this year and the following yep. year because they just yep. re-upped the, the thing. Number six. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got to learn to tie them shoes. 
Yeah, grab him by the shoestring like that. Eight yards. Yeah, that's just, without Ryland, I mean, Ryland leaves a big hole on the offense and defensive side. He's our, you know, he's kind of the commander in the center there with Mr. Murray and him not being in there, that kind of kind of hurts it a little bit. Who's in there for him, Mr. Noah Beck, or Noah, Noah Bear Shield? Shield yep. oh, oh, they put it on the ground, get it, get it, get it. Did we collect that? No. Oh, well, that's going to be bring up fourth down. Third and five. Yeah, if we're going to get back in this thing, we got to have those. We can come up with a stop here. This will be uh, maybe we can change the momentum. Yeah, hopefully we can train something. Looks like we got a timeout on the field. I think Parkston called it. Yep, and Raven, take us to a 30-second timeout, please. Right seed. Great yields start here. Pogemeyer can help you put some extra cash in your pocket this fall. Save 15% when you pay cash for your 2022 seed by September 30th. If you're looking for more when you buy seed, if world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer, the right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. 85 years of the right Feel more confident. Welcome back here to Mike Dacey Field, or otherwise as uh, ND, SD Score says Gorilla Stadium on there. I don't know why they say that. Maybe it's because that menacing gorilla over the scoreboard, but I have no idea. But, uh, yep, yeah, um, and i like to thank everybody that's watching today. You know. Well, they're hurrying up, trying to catch us off guard. Oh, and they do, and they give it to Mr. Shifty. Oh, and he's around the corner, nothing but green grass. Let's oh, and another flag. Must be another hold. It's got to be. Where, is it, where it's located, right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Mr. Number 23, he, he knew it right away. Yeah. Mr. Jarvik. Jarvik. Braden Jarvik. He was trying to negotiate with the ref, I think. Oh, chop block. Wow. That is going to help the gorillas out. You know, you can chop block. You can hit below the waist, everything, if you're within the zone. So it's like immediate contact within three yards uh, off each side, but you get into open field, you can't do that. So, I mean, even though he was in the backfield, I mean, the play was already gone. Third and ten. Well, hopefully we can keep up here. Weber bringing in the play from the sideline. Jervik's in the backfield, double wing. Yeah. Oh, big old pass. Oh, and he's wide open, Mr. Scott is. And he catches it. Cruz, Cruz got back. him. I mean, you're talking a 5'8", 150-pound soaking wet freshman up against a 6'5", 230-pound senior. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? It just mm -hmm. creates a problem. I mean, they're just pounding it, pounding it, pounding it, and then all of a sudden they lay one over the top. Cornerbacks are looking in, looking in, looking in, and uh, got burned. That is for sure. Runty. Yep. And touchdown, Parkston Trojans. Well, we all knew a key injury or any injuries would be would be detrimental to the team, and especially when you get up to somebody of the caliber of the Parks and Trojans, because they played Hanson, who is number one right now in nine double A. They played him within a touchdown. They were actually tied with about a minute left to go in the game, and then they got beat. And I think Garrettson also beat uh, Parkson too, and it wasn't by a whole lot either. So, and then they turn around and they beat the number one team in the state in Parks in Platt wow. last week. Oh, you know. That snap. There you go. Eli Fogle. Eli Fogle finally tracks him down. It all So, works. with a failed uh, two-point conversion there, the score is now 21 to nothing with 10.07 left in the second quarter. And hopefully we can pick back up here a little bit. See some positive yardage. 
kind of reminds me of last year a little bit because we had that Parkson game last year. We had a couple key injuries in that game too. And I think we would have really, we'd have come away with the W in that game too if we wouldn't have had those injuries. And one of those injuries is still hobbling around here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where he's at. I know he was going to come over here. I ain't hobbling too much. You don't want to wear his darn brace. And you kick him in the butt. <laughs> oh, well. So I was cross country today, Kurt, being told he missed it the first time around. Well, it uh, was actually a pretty nice day. It was not very hot out, and uh, I don't have any places besides my own kid. That's that's kind of a, not a great thing for the announcement world. But, no. Uh, Luke, uh, Luke ran well today, and... and uh, um, Emma and Asia Vandewerf, Emma Thomas. Yep. Um, you know they did uh, they did pretty darn good. It's Hill City brought down a crew from Hill City and their the class. Girl, oh, their girls and their boys are just they're 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 just tough runners. Good thing the class A isn't that where the from down in Burke didn't that where the superintendent goes Hill City? No, Lee Deadwood. Lee Deadwood. Oh, yeah. well, I was close. Yeah, I was not close. too far away. Yeah, she has one of the – Hallie Pearson, she has one of the top times this year already in Class I, A. I bet. Well, here we go. 10.07, second quarter. Yeah. And they're kicking a – oh, boy, he got a leg into that. We're going to let it go. He landed in the end zone. Yeah. That was a pretty good boot. Two so, yards deep. Yeah. So the Grills will take over uh, first – and 10 on their own 20-yard line. Yeah. We're not used to that. We're used to the squib kicks and all that other stuff. We have yet to kick off. <laughs> yeah, these guys are going to have to uh, forget the first part of this game and forget Cruz is a freshman. No. And he's just going oh, to have to play. Got, uh, oh, they got – oh, yeah, Cruz is under center now. Yeah, Mr. Weller in there doing the snap. Oh, look at that. Wide open. Mr. Hansen, he gets out there. He oh. stays on his feet. He's tight roping it. There we go. I tell you what, he has just got deceiving speed. Yeah, I mean, and he's got slowly better too. He uh, is extremely patient in the hole. Waits for that opening and just explodes. And yeah. I tell you what, he's done an amazing job this year. Well, the last few games have been a lot. Beginning of the year, he was he was waiting a little bit too long. He wasn't hitting the hole hard enough and quick enough. But now as you get time and you get experience, you start doing a lot better. He definitely hit the hole good there. Uh-oh, get going, Stuckel. He can outrun all them guys. Mm. And another tight rope, another 10 or 12 yards. Pushed out by number 56, Will Josie. Yeah. You know, uh, Stuckel, if he can get uh, outside, uh, turn the corner. Yeah, he, and if they don't have a really good angle on him. He's dangerous. He's going to beat them all. I seen him do that at Burke, and we were at ground level. He turned that corner, and I just went, wow. And he was just gone. Man, he turned it on, and <laughs> he really took off. Yep, the only thing that's ailing us is our size is a little, uh... oh, oh, well, that's a big pile of red and white there. <laughs> a little blue sprinkled in. Hmm. I noticed that we had our, our jerseys changed a little bit on us. See that uh, we used to be white and red, and I've got a little black on there. Yep, those are brand new this those year. Those are brand new this year. Yeah. Murray. Braden Jervik met him in the, in the center. Yeah, and made a stop. Well, now we got third and ten after two really good plays where we had some pretty good gainers. Now we're back to slowing it up, but they're really big up front. Them front four guys are huge, and then they got a middle linebacker over 200 pounds too. Oh, Cruz. 
Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I should Oh, and he caught it. Did he really catch that? Yeah, he did. Oh. Oh. We got a penalty on the field, though. Probably a hold. So it's a spot foul. They'll probably take the hold. It'll put us back on about the 40, 46 yard line of us. Oh, they declined it. So it must be fourth down, I guess, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with it being fourth down, I mean our chan I mean we just we haven't generated hardly any offense today. Rylan is our punter with him being gone. Looks like Eloy Fogel is going to be. Yep. Well, Eli's pretty well just as if you get out of the shitty snap. Oop, crappy snap like that. Did he kick that? Yeah, he got it off. It's probably a net of about nine. Yep, about nine yards. Boy, he must kicked off side of his foot. He looking a little, little winded there. <laughs> all that running around, like I said, I don't know how that prunty does it. Shifty like that, like I said, he must chase chickens or something to keep in shape. <laughs> I got a feeling he's just a, a really good athlete. That yep, he probably, is. Probably doesn't even do much in the off season. He just yeah. Oh, reverse. reverse. I seen that coming. Oh, nice. Eli come up and took that blocker on. And that created a pile, which the kid, number six, isn't that Albrecht? Yep, had to decide whether to go right or left. He had to turn it in. Yep. The timeout, I don't know what the timeout is for. Looks like Rain Kinsey might be coming in for, uh, for Tuna. Oh, they got they're gonna take they're gonna make Eli come out for a play for whatever reason. Who's number oh Fortuna's coming yeah, back Fortuna's in. Fortuna's coming back in. Yeah, we can't lose any more dudes. Come on, Rain, come on. You gotta get rid of that guy. Hey, let's keep stringing it out, stringing it out. Coulter Kramer. Yep. Turned it in, but nothing nobody was there to fill. Uh, Dang it. First slip. First and ten at uh, the Gorilla 40. Yep. Well, we'll see how this works out. Oh, wide open. Oh, and he overshot him. There wasn't a gorilla for 10 yards. No, there wasn't. I think that was Mr. Bear Shield's dude there. Seppala was all by himself. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what happens. You, you get a bunch of freshmen out here. Yeah. And uh, they, they don't they have a whole lot of play time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. You just don't have the experience. There, yeah. There's coverages out here that you're not doing in middle school. No, no, no. The middle school is a far cry from what this is. Oh, inside trap. There's five yards. Owen Hansen. Jesse Newton. Do you lie back out there? He must still be huffing and puffing a little bit. Trying to clear the cobwebs yet. I think so. Now you get up against a big team, it gets to be physical. You either start hitting or you get run over. Old Prunty, he gets on to the outside there. We're really getting beat up on a lot. 
up yeah, front. Yeah, yeah, we are getting hammered up front. We're getting pushed two to three yards back on the snap immediately. We can't be uh, eight yards down the road. Nope, sure can't. Before we touch the guy. No, I knew this would be a tough one tonight, and we had to really come in wanting it. The, I knew these guys are big, but this definitely Fast. shows us what. Oh, Prunty. Oh, and a solo tackle by Cruz. Yeah, nice job. Boy, that dude's uniform is made of oil. I'm glad he got a hold of him. That <laughs> dude is slippery. Wow. Cruz did a great job following him across. Well, they're grinding this one out, that's for sure. 6.45 left in the second quarter. <sighs> oh, this hand to Jarvik. Sam Benson. Jarvik. Oh, was that Benson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was Benson Jervik. went in motion. Yeah, they got they got quite a few people on their roster. <laughs> About five guys have touched that ball. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're doing nothing fancy. Just your your standard traps and your double wing pulls and yeah, this your standard double wing offense. Albrecht on the carry there. Yeah. Three yards in a cloud of dust most of the time. Mr. Prunty must have had to come out for a play or two. They've had a couple different people at quarterback back there. Yeah, Prunty's done it, I think. And uh, Yeah, and Jar Jervik, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right, he's done it. Caleb Weber yeah. has been handling most of yeah, the Yeah, number 10, yep. Slipped. Prunty slipped on that. Play got turned in. He tried to turn it upfield and... Lost his footing. Well, hopefully next year we get a, a few more numbers out. Maybe we'll get our numbers slipping back up there. We do have quite a few freshmen on the team this year. Nine. If we could get nine every year, then that gets us back up into our 30s where we kind of need to be. That way your next guy up, instead of being a freshman, might be a junior. Or a sophomore, even. Oh. Got to get in front of him. Oh. oh. Albrecht uh, just off the fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to apply another round to stick him. Yeah. <laughs> Stuckel uh, was in pursuit. That would have been any closer to Albrecht. He would have caught it. Yeah. Oh, that looks like they're going to kick it, maybe? Four no. for four. Then that, can't remember who kicks for them. That Kramer No, they're did. going for no, it. No, they're going to go for it. Well, they've been pretty successful all night, no matter what they've done. Oh, and Prunty's back there now. Yeah, Jervik's in the backfield. With and him. we got a timeout, I'm guessing. The Gorillas. Oh, no, Parkinson's taking timeout. And we will also, with five minutes left in the second quarter, take us to a 30-second timeout, Raven. And in control of your financial life, Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. We are back here at Mike Dacey Field, where it's with five minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, I think... Uh, it was, what, fourth and three to go, and uh, Parkston's knocking on the door again. Took a timeout to think about it. Well, they're draw up something. They, they're picking up the broken pieces of glass and the bottle caps and the sticks to make sure their, their plays erased off the field. 
Looks like uh, Parenti's going to take the snap with Jervik in the backfield with him. A couple wide outs off to the left. Yep. My guess he's just going to run it. Yeah. Hey, oh, oh, look at that. That a boy. Eli Fogel. Eli Fogel just gobbled him up before he could even get going. Girls needed that. Uh, referee is taking a time out for something. Is this our official Not heat timeout? Not a clue. Out? This crew kind of looks like a mixture, but anyway, Raven, take us to a minute timeout, please. The spirit of cooperation has always been a part of farming and ranching. Today, that spirit is alive and well at your local co-op which supplies its valued members with the opportunity to grow and be profitable. For as long as people have been farming, they have always understood the benefit of working together. Your cooperative, local, loyal, trusted by generations. Rosebud Farmers Union is a proud supporter of all area youth and the Gregory Gorillas. Stop by Rosebud Farmers Union Co-op in Gregory or Fairfax today for all of your farming needs. The Guard helps you get an education. The South Dakota Army National Guard offers all its service members in-state tuition assistance towards your college or technical school education. For your service, you will receive 50% off tuition at all South Dakota Board of Regents colleges. If you attend a technical school in the state, you will receive 83.5% off tuition. For more information, visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or check out their website, nationalguard.com sd. We are back to Mike Dacey Field after a heat timeout, which didn't make a whole lot of sense because they had a timeout like, what, 30 seconds before, like one play before the heat timeout, which it must have to be over a certain temperature to have a heat timeout. I'm not 100%. But the way the wind blowing, it's not too bad up here now. It was awfully warm earlier today, though. Yeah, the fifth game of the season. Uh, we usually don't have heat timeouts. No, 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 not at all. All right, Mr. Stuckel, and he's got to go. Oh, and oh, and then he loses the ball. Ah. Albrecht came in from behind and just punched it out. Wow. Yeah, Stuckel didn't even know he was back there. No, just kind of punched it. And if this was basketball, people should have been yelling wolf, wolf. Yep, because our dude in the white hat tonight is Mr. Rounds, isn't it, I believe? And uh, I see they picked up uh, our back judge is uh, Mr. Clute from Winter. So we must have to piece people together, get their ref teams up. Oh, and all, not at all, Brick. Yep, it sure was. Oh, it was, yeah. Senior running back, six foot, 195. Yeah, they got a lot of seniors on this team. I remember several years ago, they said when these kids got up to be seniors, they would be pretty good as far as football-wise. And it, I mean, it don't look like it ends for them. They got a lot of juniors. Yeah, not near as many. Frontian. They got quite a few, though. Frontier in motion. Oh, oh he good. lost it. You know, and mm. yeah. good thing. Try to make something to nothing. Uh-oh. Who is down on the turf there? Uh, that looks like Fogel. Fogel again. All right, well, we will take a 30 second timeout and uh, we will we will be back. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. The she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Come now. 
Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul, helping you and your community achieve financial success. BankWest. Convenient. Connected. Committed. Member FDIC. Bruns Market is your small hometown grocery store located in Burke's Main Street. Bringing our best to you is our store slogan, and we intend to do just that. We have a full-service market that includes fresh meat and produce. Our deli will slice your meats and cheeses fresh upon your request. We also have dairy and frozen departments along with some bakery items. We'll help you with all of your grocery needs, which includes checking your items out and carrying them out to your car. No self-checkouts here. We also do deliveries. Stop in and check us out while we check your groceries out. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbillingcenter.com. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Coaches Lawn Service is partnered with RG Sprinklers to be your complete full-service lawn maintenance company. Their team is up for every job, managing projects with the skill and experience their clients expect. Services include fertilizer, weed control, yard cleanup, residential and commercial mowing, and lawn sprinkler services, dethatching, overseeding, aerating, and backyard mosquito control. For free estimates, call Rich at 605-481-0131 or Gene at 605-830-0012. Coaches Lawn Dakota Auto Care at 112 West 5th Street in Gregory, South Dakota is a Napa Auto Care Center using quality Napa parts to perform high quality diagnostics and repair services on all foreign and domestic automobiles. All technicians employed are ASC certified. Jason and the crew are dedicated to customer satisfaction and maintain the highest standards of the automotive service profession. For all your automotive repairs, call 605-835-8866 Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Dakota Auto Care is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Guerrilla Activities. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Here at Farmers Union Insurance, they do everything they can to make sure that you have the right insurance for your specific needs. They understand not every individual or family has the same insurance needs, and insurance is not a one-size-fits-all type solution. You see, they look at themselves as an insurance consultant rather than the typical salespeople. Farmers Union Insurance Agency's presence within the community is more than just an insurance office. They are proud to sponsor coverage of winter athletics and students. Good luck this year to all the warrior and lady warriors. 
We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. It's tough to buy a vehicle nowadays, isn't it? They're so hard to find. At Harry K. Ford a Winner, we will never buy a 2020-21 vehicle and then turn around and ask you, our valued customers, to pay more than what the vehicle cost brand new. Those other guys, they don't do that. Research your options, get a car fax, and remember, we sell new vehicles way below MSRP because that's just the way we do business. Harry K. Ford a Winner. Family, friends, and Fords, always in that order. Gregory Lane's Restaurant and Lounge Main Street Gregory is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla school activities. Stop in before, during, or after the game and let Bubba and his crew serve you from their large selection of your favorite food and beverage items, including their delicious handmade pizzas. Don't forget the bowling alley is always open for your league bowling, kids parties, or family get-togethers. Gregory Lane's wishes all the student athletes best of luck this year in all your school activities. Grossenberg Implement is your destination for tractor and combine parts. Check the website for new aftermarket parts just added and get on their mailing list so you don't miss out. This week, get 8% off all booster cables. Think positively. Hope you don't need them, but better to have them just in case. Check it out this week at Grossenberg Implement, locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Or check out the Grossenberg customer calendar for details. 85 years of the right seed. Great yields start here. Pokemeyer can help you put some extra cash in your pocket this fall. Save 15% when you pay cash for your 2022 seed by September 30th. If you're looking for more when you buy seed, if world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer, the right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. 85 years of the... Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. The spirit of cooperation has always been a part of farming and ranching. Today, that spirit is alive and well at your local co-op which supplies its valued members with the opportunity to grow and be profitable. For as long as people have been farming, they have always understood the benefit of working together. Your cooperative, local, loyal, trusted by generations. Rosebud Farmers Union is a proud supporter of all area youth and the Gregory Gorillas. Stop by Rosebud Farmers Union Co-op in Gregory or Fairfax today for all of your farming needs. The Guard helps you get an education. The South Dakota Army National Guard offers all its service members in-state tuition assistance towards your college or technical school education. For your service, you will receive 50% off tuition at all South Dakota Board of Regents colleges. If you attend a technical school in the state, you will receive 83.5% off tuition. For more information, visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or check out their website, nationalguard.com sd. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she shear she shed. She shear? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm.
Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visit Spearfish.com. Com now. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. And we're back here at Mike Dacey Field. Um, our trooper, Eli Fogel, just got carted off in a gurney, which is not cool. They took in every precaution to secure him so he doesn't move. So hopefully there is nothing serious, and it was just all precautionary. So, I mean, we are really thin on the sidelines, so every quality member of our team that goes down Really sets it back. Fronty. Fronty, around the corner. Uh. Cruz, and he's out of bounds for about a seven yard gain. Just so quick. Once he gets out there, there's just, you gotta. Yeah, he wasn't looking like he was trying to get any extra yards on that one. He, he knew what he wanted and he just got out of bounds and Picked up his, picked up his yards. Out oh, wide open, and there it is. No, Bronte. Catch. Yeah, there was absolutely nobody on him. We are down at the two-yard line for Parkston. Beautiful pass by Weber. Yep. First and goal at the two. Yep, now we're sitting there, and then we got, what, about two yards to go? About on the extra point line. And he just handed off to Jervis, and touchdown. Braden Jervik. Jervik, yeah. Pounding it away. So, with 3.32 left to go in the second quarter, uh, Parkinson's up 27 to nothing over the Gorillas. Jackson Cook is going to be attempting the PAT. Yep. And it looks like it's good. He had plenty of leg on that. Yeah, so... We're waiting to kick off here, and hopefully our luck turns around a little bit and no more injuries. Don't like seeing all these, especially on our already depleted roster. You lose a quality kid like uh, Eli Fogel. Yeah, and he's been really making some big strides this year as far as a player and everything else, and he was looking really good. When they're, uh, one of your team leaders falls off the field uh. yeah that too I'm sure he's one of the more vocal leaders on our team too that we need you know because we are when we have no seniors and we had what six six juniors seven juniors I think it's yeah it's six I think so those kids are really gonna have to six uh, juniors forget about what's going on here and they got a whole another half to play. Yeah, we do. 
And uh, just, I mean, we we got to get going here. And I don't know what Ryland, he's putting his stuff back on. But I, at this point in the game, I don't know if I would. Do you risk it? Do you risk putting him back in there? He's obviously wanting in pretty bad if he's putting his pads back on. I seen him. Yep. It would definitely be against the vice of all medical, I'm sure. Oh, and Hanson. Oh, there's a good run up to the 35, 36-ish, somewhere in that neck of the woods. Did a really good job there. These boys are going to just have to really get after it now. Forget, yep, it, forget about everything that just happened. Time for a gut check right yeah, it here. Really is. Oh, bad snap. Yep, terrible snap. I don't get these young kids. I should say it was a, a poor exchange. I don't know who's where the problem happened, but uh, looks like we're going to spread the field. Yep. Daniel Mitchell, that's the first time I've seen him on the field. No yeah, he, he was at the JV game the other day, and he played pretty sparingly then, too. Hanson. Oh, look at that. That's an excellent cut. Another good cut. Now yeah, the first down. Hey, we can't give up. We got to keep playing. Absolutely. Maybe we can get a score in here before half. Maybe get a little, uh, little redemption here a little bit. You got to shift that momentum somehow. Cade Brown, wide up, wide left. Yeah. Mitchell and Hanson to the right. Yeah. Mitchell's, what, 6'8", something like that. Wish he had a little meat on his bones. He's a big kid. All he got to do is throw it up there. And, oh, look at that, right to him. Oh, nope. Oh, and they were trying to get it from him. First down. First down. I was the thing at the junior varsity game the other day. His hands were made of stone that day. He didn't catch a darn thing. That was a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah. That didn't look like he had a little touch. You were here the other at the yeah. JV game, weren't you? Those, both those hit him right square in the hands. Yeah. There was no excuse. Yeah, well, about at halftime of that JV game, I was done. There was no more running than this boy. <laughs> Can't believe I was that far out of shape. Oh, Owen oh, again. You know, that might just have to be what we do. I mean, yep. uh, those quick quick passes out to the Well, and them are the best anyway. They're the high percentage ones. Well, what's wrong with five yards Four. instead of 30, you know? <laughs> How many world championships did the 49ers win? Yeah, those yeah, those five and out, ten and out. Well, yeah. same with Tom Brady. That's yeah. all he does. Absolutely. I mean, and he is, you know, severely accurate. But... Stuckel. Uh-oh. Oh. Read well by number 12. Yep. Ethan Poor. It's another senior. Yeah, they got they're 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 senior heavy, that's for sure. There is no doubt. Came out from his safety position to make that tackle. So we got a timeout coming. Raven, give us a 30, please. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul, helping you and your community achieve financial success. Bank West, convenient, connected, committed. Member FDIC. 
Bruns Market is here at Mike Dacey Field. There's 51 seconds left here in the second half or second quarter, excuse me. And uh, we are uh, third and 13 sitting on our the Parkston Trojans 43 yard line. If I get that right. And uh, they have used all their timeouts. We got one left after this one. So. We'll see how what kind of plan we are coming up with here. Yeah, we're I mean we're getting closer looking like the J V team I seen the other night. <laughs> hey, how we doing? Good. <laughs> Our chief of police just walked by. <laughs> All right, there it is. Oh screen. Go, Murray. Run. Get your wheels on. No. He's not going to get it. Uh, I would call timeout. 30, 34. Nah, or let it run down and then call timeout. Got to the 34-yard line. Yep. If I was Mr. Murray, I'd run her down to whenever he starts counting and uh, call timeout so that way there's basically only one play left. No sense in giving it back to them at all. Yep. Injuries, injuries, injuries. Yep, and we call timeout. Raven, let's uh, pay the bills one more time, and then it'll be halftime. Small hometown grocery store located in Burke's Main Street. Bringing our best to you is our store slogan, and we intend to do just that. We have a full-service market that includes fresh meat and produce. Our deli will slice your meats and cheeses fresh upon your request. We also have dairy and frozen departments along with some bakery items. We'll help you with all of your grocery needs, which includes checking your items out and carrying them out to your car. No self-checkouts here. We also do deliveries. Stop in and check us out while we check your groceries out. Back. Here at Mike Dacey Field, and uh, we are got five seconds left remaining in the second quarter here, right before half. And I think the gorillas are going to make one more big push to try to get one in the end zone here. So hopefully, we're drawing up a good one here. Yeah, I just don't see it happening as far as uh, giving the crews very much time. They're going to have to do a slant or something up the middle or but looks like Parkston is somewhat yeah. ready for us they absolutely four four D backs and they're playing prevent yep playing about 10 yards off the ball yeah they're not gonna let us have anything they'll probably give us the short one. Oh, oh, oh! down he goes and that is our half so from the moose here and Kurt Sinclair, we will pick up with you guys here in about 15, 20 minutes, and we will be right back, start of the third quarter. says they want to change the world. But not everyone will. We are not everyone.
Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Coaches Lawn Service is partnered with RG Sprinklers to be your complete full-service lawn maintenance company. Their team is up for every job, managing projects with the skill and experience their clients expect. Services include fertilizer, weed control, yard cleanup, residential and commercial mowing, and lawn sprinkler services, dethatching, overseeding, aerating, and backyard mosquito control. For free estimates, call Rich at 605-481-0131 or Gene at 605-830-0012. Coaches Lawns. Dakota Auto Care at 112 West 5th Street in Gregory, South Dakota is a Napa Auto Care Center using quality Napa parts to perform high quality diagnostics and repair services on all foreign and domestic automobiles. All technicians employed are ASC certified. Jason and the crew are dedicated to customer satisfaction and maintain the highest standards of the automotive service profession. For all your automotive repairs, call 605-835-8866 Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Dakota Auto Care is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla activities. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Here at Farmers Union Insurance, they do everything they can to make sure that you have the right insurance for your specific needs. They understand not every individual or family has the same insurance needs, and insurance is not a one-size-fits-all type solution. You see, they look at themselves as an insurance consultant rather than the typical salespeople. Farmers Union Insurance Agency's presence within the community is more than just an insurance office. They are proud to sponsor coverage of winter athletics and students. Good luck this year to all the warrior and lady warriors. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. It's tough to buy a vehicle nowadays, isn't it? They're so hard to find. At Harry K. Ford a Winter, we will never buy a 2020 21 vehicle and then turn around and ask you, our valued customers, to pay more than what the vehicle cost brand new. Those other guys, they don't do that. Research your options, get a car fax, and remember, we sell new vehicles way below MSRP because that's just the way we do business. Harry K. Ford a Winter. Family, friends, and Fords, always in that order. Gregory Lane's Restaurant and Lounge Main Street Gregory is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla school activities. Stop in before, during, or after the game and let Bubba and his crew serve you from their large selection of your favorite food and beverage items, including their delicious handmade pizzas. Don't forget the bowling alley is always open for your league bowling, kids' parties, or family get-togethers. Gregory Lane's wishes all the student athletes best of luck this year in all your school activities. Grossenberg Implement is your destination for tractor and combine parts. Check the website for new aftermarket parts just added and get on their mailing list so you don't miss out. This week, get 8% off all booster cables. Think positively. Hope you don't need them. 
but better to have them just in case. Check it out this week at Grossenberg Implement, locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Or check out the Grossenberg customer calendar for details. 85 years of the right seed. Great yields start here. Pogemeyer can help you put some extra cash in your pocket this fall. Save 15% when you pay cash for your 2022 seed by September 30th. If you're looking for more when you buy seed, if world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer, the right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. 85 years of the... Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. The spirit of cooperation has always been a part of farming and ranching. Today, that spirit is alive and well at your local co-op which supplies its valued members with the opportunity to grow and be profitable. For as long as people have been farming, they have always understood the benefit of working together. Your cooperative, local, loyal, trusted by generations. Rosebud Farmers Union is a proud supporter of all area youth and the Gregory Gorillas. Stop by Rosebud Farmers Union Co-op in Gregory or Fairfax today for all of your farming needs. The Guard helps you get an education. The South Dakota Army National Guard offers all its service members in-state tuition assistance towards your college or technical school education. For your service, you will receive 50% off tuition at all South Dakota Board of Regents colleges. If you attend a technical school in the state, you will receive 83.5% off tuition. For more information, visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or check out their website, nationalguard.com sd. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. The she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Limestone Canyon. Welcome back here to Mike Dacey Field. We have about two minutes left here in the halftime. And uh, means how at the beginning of the game, we didn't quite to get go through everything. And uh, I was just going to say, coming up this week, uh, we got cross country and bond home on Monday. Uh, JV and middle school football, we're going to play in Burke on Monday. Uh, maybe JV, I don't know, as thin as we're getting. Uh, middle school volleyball uh, Lyman's coming down here to Gregory on Monday Tuesday we have a volleyball match at varsity volleyball match at Todd County and Thursday we have a volleyball match at Corsica Stickney now I mean good things good I mean uh, we <laughs> we're gonna need a bye week to get healed up a little bit and we are having a bye week next week and then uh, after that then we get to travel to Woolsey um the week after that and then on october 1st is our homecoming which we will entertain the plat black panthers and uh yeah <clears throat> and they are just coming off of a loss well they just won last night coleman egan i think they 50 them they did and uh act yes eight oh excuse me October 1st is our game at Woolsey. I think okay. I got it all messed up. That's okay. I think I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> Seeing in one eye and can't see out of the other way. Anyway. Boy, that, that's close to hunting season. Uh, it's always the third weekend. I don't even know when that is. I don't know. I got too much stuff going on. Well, anyway, through the polls, earlier they said DeSmith's number one, Howard's two, Harry Selby's three. Woolsey Washington's at four and Walls at five in class 9A. We received one vote this time. Um, I always, Wade and I always used to do our own polls, and mine this week would be DeSmith, Howard, Woolsey, 
Wall, then Harriet Selby. You got anything to add there, cohort? No. No, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my gorilla feelers haven't been real good on the team this year. Just, I mean, they surprised me the last three weeks extremely how well we've been playing. And then tonight with all the injuries, now I'm – Kind of get a little iffy, hopefully. I see Rylan has uh, got his shoulder pads back on, and he is he is throwing some passes over there. So I look for him to maybe it. maybe one-way it. I don't know. Get back in the game somehow. He had enough of uh, watching the, the rest of his team that second quarter, so apparently he's getting back in it. Yeah, that is for sure. And, well, right now we just need bodies. Yep, and then uh, I don't even know if we're going to need the lights. Well, okay. we're, we're not at a running clock yet, and they even they score one more time and tack on, yeah, 35. even one extra point, yeah, and then it'll be a running clock, which, you know, I don't know what's happening. You know, I mean, we obviously when we come out, we look a little flat. Um, didn't look like we were ready to play. Uh, that's my honest opinion. I love my gorillas, but I think it's a Saturday, and they look like they're playing on a Saturday, not a college type deal. <laughs> but uh, and then the injuries, they just, they just took more air out of the out of the whole situation. So, well, you saw it the other night with uh, Gannon when he got injured. That you know we had the game, yeah, well, we, well in hand, well and, in and, hand, yes, and all of a sudden. Uh, it just took the wind out of our sails, and you really got to just put that behind you and and, yep. and keep playing. And uh, last night, uh, actually, Bon Home played Kimball White Lake, and uh, Bon Home scored, uh, I think, in the first part of the fourth quarter to to take the final lead to win the game. I think they won 24 to 16 or something in that nature. That wouldn't even make sense. No, eight and six, yeah. So. Yeah, that's you know that was the final there, and uh, I don't know where they if they played in down in Tyndall or where they played, but that's our last game of the year this year. We got to travel to Tyndall. Uh, yeah, that's always been a, a I don't know. It, it's just always I'd been rather a tough play. play. To, I'd rather go to the Sandburg Patch and go down there and play. It's just a tough <laughs> tough atmosphere. I mean, there's a lot of. Uh, History between uh, the two towns and, yeah, and playoffs and, and absolutely, uh, you uh, know, I hated going down there. Always hated going down there. Really sucked. <laughs> yeah, you, you just can't uh, can't let it bother you though, and you got to just play, play four quarters, and hopefully we can put it together. Yep. Oh well. So, hopefully, I mean. We can figure it out and get a couple people plugged in, but we're really going to miss Eli on the D side. He was a force on that end. I mean, when they moved him from being a D back up into, you know, after the wall game, they put him on the line. That really, that really changed things. He really came into his own on that. He moved out from that outside linebacker and, and yep. he just found a home in that D end and yep. just – Pinned yeah, it. he'd just pin his ears back and just go. Well, out he had no more pass responsibility. All he, his job was to do is stay in his zone till he got across, and then kill the guy carrying the ball. <laughs> I don't know how many uh, sacks he had that one game, but it was a ton. Yeah, and I think if we'd have had all that straightened out before we would have went to Wall, I don't know. That might have been a lot different ball game than what it was. I honestly, I mean, I think Wall's pretty decent, but that they're. they're their road to the dome is going to be really, really hard, especially the last two games of the year. But right now, they are sitting in power points for the playoff standings. They are sitting at number one, and that's the privy of them playing the schedule that they play. They played Lyman last night and just absolutely spanked them. It was like 48-6 to six or something like that. And playing, uh, Lyman's been playing pretty fair this year. So maybe Wall's getting a few things figured out. So here we go, start of the third quarter. Uh, we've got Mr. Murray kicking it off. 
A little pooch punt. I don't know who number 12. 12. Ethan Poor. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He do. Oh, he got brought down by. Oh, and a horse collar. Yep, saw that one. Yeah, that was not hard to spot. No, not at all. So here we start. Miss Ring, you got that? We got this. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we go. Ooh. Yeah, we can zoom out a little bit. Whoop. There we go. We're good there. There. There we go. As long as we follow the ball, we should be all right. Lost our camera guy. Yeah. Well, I'm used to running the camera and trying to announce at the same time, but people got tired of the lag time of me screaming and yelling and then finally catch the camera up <laughs> after the play's over. <laughs> There's actually a lot going on. Yeah, I mean. Trying to do it all. Yeah. Well, and this is my seventh or eighth year. I think Wade did it for eight. I come on a year after, so this is my seventh year. Been doing this a long. No, I've been longer than that. So I went through. I can't remember. It's been a while. We got Weber <laughs> under center. Yeah, I think they're just gonna smash mouth football. Oh, Albrick. Oh, and Hanson. Yeah, he come up and laid a good stick on him. Man, Nathan's got to get a little bit more aggressive. He comes through there, and he just kind of let that guy screen him. He didn't even try to fight through that block. And you can just tell we're not in there. We're kind of dead. Now he took Rylan, Rylan out. out. I think uh, they're, they're being, being a little, little cautious. cautious. Yeah. yeah, they should be. Oh. Oh, Prunty. Uh oh, Noah had a hand on him for a second. And he runs him out of bounds here. I think he got like six yards in that play. And we got third and four, I believe. But uh, Gorillas were trying to string that out there. Yeah. Boy, I remember when the J.J. Beck days. J.J.'s disdain for Parkston was immense. And he made every kid he touched when he played. <laughs> know it. <laughs> I love those days. Jay, if you're listening, oh, he's probably playing Reverse. today. He plays for D One guy. DSU. Is that Albrecht? Seven. Coulter Kramer. Coulter Kramer. On the reverse, goes in for the score. So with only a minute pretty well ticked off the clock here in the third quarter, uh, Parkson goes up 34 to nothing. Now, if they are successful with either the – the PAT or a two-point try, we will get into a running clock, which means the, the clock will only stop on uh, change of possessions, timeouts, and touchdowns. And if I'm correct, I think that's it. Yeah, that reverse, once they sealed off Stuckel, the uh, only thing standing between uh, Kramer and the touchdown was the same. Yeah. It was a freshman. Yeah. Uh oh down on the ground. Throws it up. For and that was Scott. All he did was shield our guy from it and turned around, and laid it right into his hands. So it's 11:03. Parkson goes up 36 to nothing. Raven, take us to a 30-second timeout, please, and we'll be right back. Waterfalls and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com now. Welcome back here to Mike Dacey Field here in Gregory, South Dakota. I'm here with Kurt Sinclair on my guest commentator. I think we're doing pretty good tonight. You having fun yet? Yeah, I haven't said any bad words or anything. I'm not going to say any. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That's true. I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, I... I probably slipped up maybe once, maybe twice. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard, you know. Maybe when we're talking, we just want to say a bad word, just go beep. 
<laughs> oh, I think our camera guy's back from having lunch. Oh, that right. one might. No. Oh, he's, Owen's going to pick it up. Oh. He's been running tough tonight. Yeah, he's a tough runner. Yeah, so very he's, shifty and very elusive. He's hard nosed too. You really can't shirt tackle that kid. No, but I mean, he gets hit. He it takes him off his feet a little bit just for as little as he is. But he's gutsy. I mean, he's he plays bigger than what he is. We got Rylan out there now again. He is uh, yep. taking snaps. Yep. Come on, Stu. Oh, he wasn't even down. Jervik cleaned him up. There's yeah. the flag. Absolutely. They they should have heard the whistle. They absolutely should have heard the whistle. Even though he you know, he wasn't down. I don't know why they why they blew the whistle. Why they blew the whistle in the first place. Yeah, that kid's only a sophomore. I remember him starting last year. He was quite a force. He's just going to get bigger. Yeah, he's a Mr. Jervik. Pretty decent pitcher as well. I mean, uh, in baseball, you know, you've seen him throw. Yeah. Where I mean, I watched uh, their junior teeners. Actually, I umpired a game with, uh, and that Albrecht was a pretty decent pitcher. He threw that game that I umpired up in winter at the Father's Day game. Did he throw up there? I don't even remember no, him being there. No, this was last year. I. But uh, you get a kid that's athletic; they're going to be good about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched Parkson play, and they—they, they, I don't know how they did this year in the state junior team tournament, but they had been pretty good. They—they they had a pretty salty team up there in winter. I watched them, and you know, but look—I mean, look at the kids they got. They're athletic. Pretty good size. Well, Ryland did good with that one. Get rid of that. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 just frustration. Gotten, frustration gotten surrounded and yeah. He's just getting sick of uh, people being on him. Oh, well, I'm sure because. I mean, I'm, we didn't really lose anybody off the line except for Fogel, but I was on the defensive side. Our offensive line's pretty well the same. But we really can't lose anybody there. What's up next ain't much. Man, Weller, you got to pick that first guy up. Jervik just come in, clean him up after uh, oh, number 28. Maddox Brissett. Brissett, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you got this many kids to choose from from a team and a town that usually has some pretty good athletic kids, it's not hard. And they're not well, too well, and that's not going to stop because we went to, uh, I guess you'd call it Pee Wee football, but it's like uh, they had two teams of fifth graders. So I mean, it doesn't end. Oh, wide open! Oh, boy, he had him. He did. They had two two teams for fifth grade. Yeah, Pee Wee football. Yeah. Wow, two separate teams. So I mean, it's we played them both, and and uh, well, like I said, their 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 days are numbered here at Nine Man, and I've I've heard that on the Grapevine too, that their name their days are pretty well numbered. So I mean, they better take advantage of it while they can. You know, it's like Garrettson bounces up and down, and Baltic went up to eleven man this year. So I don't know, they're gonna make it tougher. Oh, there's a good old boot. Riley. Oh, Prunty. They got to get down there. Oh, he's in the end, end zone. zone. Uh oh. Got around. He's shifty. Oh. Tyler, or uh, <laughs> Tyler. Trey Murray. Well, he got her after picking her up two yards deep in the end zone. He got her up to the 21. That ain't terrible. So, with 7.31 left in the game, we got uh, Parkinson's going to Parkinson's gonna take over in the 22-yard line of their own. 
And the yeah, score is 36 to nothing and a timeout. Raven, one minute timeout, please. Let's pay the bills. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We hope you are all enjoying. And we're back from our little corner of paradise down here in Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> These last few weeks with the rains we've had, it's really greened up. Yeah, and I, I'm liking it because hunting season's right around the corner. And, uh, well, let's put it like this. Some of those guys really don't pay attention to what they do. So, and they're just out here to have a good time. And we just wouldn't want to see a fire start. Um, <clears throat> they went out today. I don't know where they went today, but... But with the wind blowing like it is, hopefully everything was contained all right. Uh, okay. Sorry. Gorillas on defense. Uh, really need to make a stop here. Yep. And I don't see. I, I figured I figured old uh, Peck would probably be playing just one way. Well, so, oh, boy. And he's gone. Follow him. Follow him. Oh, And touchdown you from 79-yard touchdown run. You know, Stuckel caught him. I mean, it's yeah. uh, he just dove and. Yeah, you got to follow the play. <laughs> yeah, Stuckel caught him, but he just couldn't make the play. Yeah. Well, Stuckel's fast. There's no doubt about it. I have to replay that one at home. Well, it, it was just a misdirection. Um, and I tell you what, he just, there wasn't anybody there. <laughs> and, oh, he's stringing it out. Oh, number three, Owen Manson. just about had him. Oh, with 7.09 left in the third quarter, uh, Parkston is up 44 to nothing. Uh, I just I can't see them leaving their their first stringers in anymore. If they do, then they're just being, you know, they're being being. Well, they definitely have plenty. I counted. What's 30. that? No, 35. Yep. 30 so I should have been running clock the whole this whole time. I hope. <laughs> there should anyway. Mr. Flockus, he keeps bugging me over here. We got the First Fidelity Bank well represented up here today. <laughs> you know, they got 39 kids on their squad. And uh Yeah, they had all their starters in there yet. Like we're going to you know, come back after the injuries we've had and you know, playing pretty well all sophomores and uh, freshmen right now. I think out of our six juniors, I think only three are playing right at the moment. Who do we got back? Who's number six? Is that the other Stuckel? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Luke so Stugel. the two brothers are side by side in the back back there. Ooh, it's going to little Luke. Luke Stuckel. Go, Luke! Oh, he's pretty shifty in his own right, too. But I don't I don't think he quite has the foot speed of uh, Cade. Not all the boys, I think. 
I think Cade's the fastest by far. And I don't think he uh, hesitates in telling the rest of them that. that oh, the, really? That, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to Dave, Derek or Caleb. <laughs> yeah, Cade is definitely a burner. <laughs> Three wideouts off to the left. Oh! Oh! Yep. Did he throw the flag? No. Nope. Uh, he should have because that was almost face guarding there. <laughs> Daniel Mitchell. Yep. He's out there all on his own, all six, eight, or nine, or whatever he is. That guy has some de deceiving speed. I Who's mean, that? Oh, Mitchell. You don't, you don't realize he's running that fast. Yeah. Well, he's, I mean, he, he don't have to look like he's putting any effort as his strides are like five yards a piece. You know? <laughs> They're just huge. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, and down he goes. They're going to call grounding. He went past. As long as it goes by the line of or some receivers in the area, Owen was there. Oh, they called him down. Yeah, I think his knees were down. Were they down? Yeah. Well, that's very possible. <laughs> See if we can't get uh, something put together yep. here. There we go. At least maybe get some yard. Oh, yeah. down he goes again. Number 56. With putting on the pressure, Will Jodozi. He's one of the he's one of the younger guys on that squad, sophomore. Yeah, but he still got still got pretty well their varsity their varsity defense out there. I don't see a number two out there though right now. I think he's sitting over here on the sideline somewhere. Yeah. Yep, I see him standing here. Prunty. Yeah, it's really disheartening when you know you got to, you know, if you have everybody healthy, you know, and you have a really decent squad, but you Sam just the one, just one uh, injury alone. Oh, wow. Peck. <laughs> There's definitely some frustration coming out. So, Rylan Peck with the tackle on that. Yeah. Well, we got to hold them here. They score six. Game's over. And we have a running clock. It does not stop. I thought it thought it ch uh, stopped between change of possession. Maybe not. I wouldn't think. It's been running the whole time, so. Yep, they got their A1 squad out there yet. Sam Benson. Boy, he's a shifty runner. He's only a freshman, too. Uh-oh, Cruz Clunt. Oh, no, I hope not. Oh, he's rolling around in pain. Oh, that's not good. All right. Yep, there you go. Well, with uh, 3.07 left, we will take a 30-second timeout. A little injury timeout, and we will be back. Student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. And we are back here at Mike Dacey Field. They had to help Mr. Young Cruz Clunt off. It's like he twisted his ankle a little bit. He should be all right. We have any more injuries, we ain't going to have. We'll be have to be dragging kids out of the stands to play.
Yeah, he's so. just uh, just off the fingertips. Yep. Yeah, them, them ankle injuries can be pretty bad. I remember when uh, Vanderwerf suffered that high ankle sprain. He was out for pretty well five or six games his senior year. There's Jervik. Yeah. He just punched it up there for five yards to get the first down. Cade Brown with the tackle. No, with the clock still running. Yeah, they definitely got their top squad out there yet. Yeah, I don't know. Well, expect number two sitting over here on the sideline. Eh? They must be running a few, few of their younger kids in a little bit. I don't think it's really going to matter. We're down to – is Paul in there yet? <laughs> number seven, Colter Kramer. <laughs> oh, well, you definitely see frustrations come out. And the Parkston crew, the parents over there, go, little hey, hey, hey going on. <laughs> this has got to be frustrating for these kids. You got, oh, number 15 is wide open, and and that is the ball game. Max so Scott. with one minute left in the third quarter, the game will be 50 to nothing, and that will be our ball game. Well, thank you for everybody that has joined in tonight. Thank you, Kurt, for joining me tonight. I appreciated it. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. What? And come enjoy out our girls volleyball this week. They're having a tremendous season in their own right. And come out and watch our girls run. They're doing pretty good this year, too, in cross country. So, and uh, we will not be back again. We will see you guys in three weeks. Uh, it'll be homecoming here. What well, you say, October 8th? Uh, sorry if I said the first before, but it's the 8th. I think we play Woolsey on the first in Woolsey. So, we will be back here on the 8th. I'm not too sure who's going to help me out yet then. And, Kurt, you got anything to add? Uh, you probably won't ask me back. I don't know. Oh, this I is won't it. ask you back. Yeah. I haven't got any bad reviews yet, so we're all good. <laughs> well, uh, this was fun. I've never done anything like this before, and uh, it's, it's uh, definitely different, definitely isn't it? Definitely different. But, I mean, you got to think about it. It's like two dudes sitting on a couch at home watching TV, except we're, we're minus a couple things that you would normally have sitting on the couch. <laughs> we're not going to have those up here. But uh, eh, but some of the people that are actually listening tonight, I think, are drinking enough for all of us. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> We won't name any names. No, no, we won't. We, we'll, we'll stay out of that part of the conversation. But anyway, well, uh, thank you for everybody that was tuning in tonight and everybody here at Gregory Gorillas Live. And and uh, we will catch you in three weeks. For me and Kurt Sinclair, good night.